Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be showing you this super simple eye look that is perfect for hooded eyes. Great for everybody, but uh, give it a shot if you have hooded eyes. So I'm gonna be starting off with the Makeup by Mario Brightening Eye Pencil or whatever this is called. It's basically a nude, um, like a very pale nude. I'm gonna be placing this all up in my waterline and then slightly dragging it down on the outer corner of my eye, like a little bit onto the lower lash line. I'm basically gonna be using this to open up the eyes. Uh, you'll see that we're really gonna be focusing on the outer corner for this look. I'm also dragging it ever so slightly out at the outer corner. I'm using the Stone Cold Fox palette from ColourPop. I'm gonna be using this super dark brown shade. I love using a shadow because it's a lot easier and you can use any eyeliner brush that you like. I personally prefer one that is not angled. I'm gonna be using my lash line as my guide to begin. So I'm starting off at the very outer corner of my eye, basically drawing a line down. So literally just an extension of my lash line right now. Then I'm going to angle my face and I'm going to slowly swoop that up. Now, if you have hooded eyes and your crease comes lower than where I'm placing this, instead of dragging, you want to kind of like draw that light, like press that brush flat against your skin, going over that crease, okay? Now I'm gonna trace from that line below that brightening eye pencil. So connecting that upper wing and defining that lower lash line. And you can take this in as far as you want. We're gonna get back to that a little bit later. If you feel like doing this kind of thing, ends up making your eyes look even more downturned and you don't like that. Now I'm just pressing a little bit more of that shadow into my upper lash line. I just wanna make sure that that wing is connected. This isn't necessary, but it's just like a little attention to detail if you feel like thing, you know, you don't wanna end up with gapping, you know? Another way to elevate this look, make it look a little bit more glam, a little bit more done, is to define your inner corner. So I'm doing this little like open at my inner corner, basically tracing just below and then fading it into the middle. So I'm not gonna connect it completely to the outer part. I'm just defining that inner corner, starting it a little bit low and then kind of like blending it into that middle. I'm going in with this Rare Beauty highlight. This is Enlighten, just to open up my inner corner. It's a great option to play up your inner corner, especially if you do have hooded eyes. And it also just helps to open up the eyes in general if you feel like you have small eyes or if they kind of end up looking dark. All right, so this is the look, all right? We're gonna do a couple little things to finish it off. I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes with my favorite lash curler. This is the one by Refer. And then I'm going to apply just a very light coat of the Tower 28 mascara. So I typically like to use a waterproof mascara if I am not going in with falsies, but I'm gonna show you a little lash trick uh, that will help if you feel like focusing on your lower lash line drags your eyes down too much. If you feel like your lashes don't hold a curl, you can definitely try a waterproof mascara, but if you don't have that problem, this is a really great mascara. For my lower lash line, I'm basically just going to focus on the very center of my lashes. So I kind of just wanna make sure that I'm keeping that inner and outer part nice and open. And focusing right in the center just kind of connects those two lines so they don't look disconnected. You gotta do a little cleanup. Always gotta do a little cleanup. You know what I mean? Mascara, you gotta do cleanup. <laughs> so this is the finished look if you don't want to go in with any falsies. I wanted you to see it from every angle but <laughs> you can apply individuals, especially if you're someone who can't deal with strip lashes, if you feel like they're too heavy for you, if you do have hooded eyes, you just can't deal. Applying a few little individuals on the outer corner of your eyes can really help to add a little bit more of a lift to the eye and also just make the look overall look more balanced if you're not able to do too much to your upper lash line or on your lid and you need to focus more on your lower lash line. So I'm just using medium and short, uh, mostly just on the outer corner. So this is the finished look, you guys. Uh, I wore this recently and I absolutely loved it. I didn't touch my lid at all, my crease at all. I just did this. 
It looked beautiful from every single angle. It's well balanced, but it works perfectly if you have hooded eyes. So you can see that we use that lower lash line as a guide, uh, but to balance the overall look, we started low, we brought it in, and then we brought that inner corner down a little bit. So we're just kind of using that liner to rebalance things. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please let me know. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, do all the things, subscribe, whatever. Uh, let me know what you want to see next, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!